Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sayyid Mohammed Awais and you're watching Sports Extra. There's a big news coming up from Pakistan Cricket Board. Babar Azam resigns as a white ball captain. I know many, many of them have been uh, saying from many past many months that Babar Azam needs to resign, needs to rest out. Uh, as a captain, he needs to focus more on his batting, what Virat Kohli had done, because unfortunately, we do compare him with Virat Kohli, but we need to understand one thing, that Virat Kohli had gone through many ups and downs, but he is one of the one of the strong comebacks what he has made in the international career. I hope so Babar Azam does the same thing over here. If you speak about Babar Azam, professional career, I mean, when he took as a team, as a captain for the Pakistan team back in 2022, Pakistan has got a good track record of winning, but still, as, a, as his uh, own performance as a captain leading from the front with the batting has been not that good for Pakistan. So I hope so. Uh, there's a new captain phase coming up for Pakistan. Uh, the name what we have heard, I would definitely try to discuss it, but uh, uh, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a miss and match because Rizwan is in the contendership. Uh, Fakhar Zaman is there. You got Haris in the contendership, and there's a new name, Salman Ali Aga, being uh, considered too. So let's see what comes from the Pakistan cricket board. We move on to the Pakistan versus. England too to Pakistan, where England team have arrived in Pakistan. The first two matches to be played at Multan. The last match would be played in Rawalpindi. It's an important test series for Pakistan. Unfortunately, Pakistan is out of the uh, finals of the test championship. But still, it would be a great series for Pakistan to come back. Even Shan Masood, while speaking to the media in press conference, he said that this series would be really important. There are mix and matches coming up from experts that Pakistan had to change a squad over here. Same with Shaheen Shah Fridi. If you talk about Saim Ayub, they have been given again chances to Pakistan, but they haven't been consistently performing. So let's see how they perform in this pressure situation because Pakistan team direly need a win over here to be back on the streak and the way the three, the, the environment in Pakistan dressing room has to be positive. I mean, everyone has been speaking about that. Let's see how Shan Masood cops up with this situation. We speak about the Gorak bike rally which just concluded. Uh, event brought bike, ris bike riders and adventure enthusiasts from across the country. Rally based on three categories, more than 60 bikers participated. The biggest thing, the, the happiest thing was that you had female riders too over here. And especially if you speak about this area, it was like, it was introduced to the world. I mean, because Gorak, many of them people don't know about this. This is basically called Murray of Sin, and it's, it's a good sign that it has been introduced to the international media too. If you speak about, lastly, the National Fighting Tournament 2024 trials underway across Pakistan. PMF Scouting Talent for Premier MMA Tournament is underway. Trials were held in Quetta and Balochistan region. Punjab trials are being held today. It's an important thing if you speak about the MMA fighting. You know, Pakistan has been produce, producing a lot of brilliant MMA fighters, but unfortunately, due to lack of funding, due to lack of sponsorship, uh, the, the youngsters, I mean, they just don't turn around the sport. So it's, it's really important how our sponsors specifically, they support this fight, this, this MMA, because Pakistan has been br uh, producing some brilliant fighters over here. To talk about this, but specifically the Pakistan versus England Test Series, the pa Babar Azam retirement, there has been news coming up. I've been joined by two guests in the studio. First of all, I've been joined by Kiasif. He's an, in, he's an international commentator, broadcaster, and presenter. Assalamu alaikum, Asif. Wa alaikum as salam, Awais. Hope you're doing well. I'm good. Thank you so much. And I've been joined by first-class cricketer, Kashif Majid. as alaikum, Kashif. Wa alaikum as salam, Awais. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. Uh, speaking about Babar Azam, like I told you, there's a big news from Pakistan Cricket Board. Everyone has been speaking about it. That is it the right decision for him to step down or not? I know Kiasif isn't happy about that, but uh, there's a package. Let's watch the package and we'll continue the discussion. Hit well, hit well enough to go for six. Babar Azam has stepped down as Pakistan's captain for the second time in less than a year. He mentioned that he wants to reduce his workload and concentrate on his batting. Babar shared that he informed the Pakistan Cricket Board last month about his decision to resign from the white ball captain seat so he can focus on improving his performance. The PCB accepted his resignation and now they will look for a new captain for the white ball team. They acknowledged that despite supporting Babar as captain, his choice to resign shows he wants to concentrate on, on being a better player. The board stated that this decision shows his professionalism and commitment to Pakistan cricket, believing that if he focuses on his batting, he can contribute more to the team's success in shorter formats. The PCB also recognized Barber's contributions as captain, his ability to prioritize the team's need and dedication to cricket in Pakistan. They will continue to support him, knowing he still has a lot to give as a top batter and an experienced member of the team. That was the package. Uh, Kiasif, happy about Babar Azam? 
Uh, we'll see if you talk about that, the Babar Azam's captaincy, Babar Azam performance, Babar Azam, of course, big name um, in Pakistan cricket. And uh, people were criticizing about his batting form as well as uh, his leading uh, abilities. What happened, actually, if you uh, go in the past and see that when he met with the chairman Pakistan cricket board, Mohsin Nakwi, and Mohsin Nakwi once again offered him to uh, join the team as a skipper, and Shaheen Jafridi and the rest of the camp and the rest of the team, they were in the camp in the Kakul. And we heard that news that, that the Pakistan cricket board didn't take in confidence uh, to Shaheen Jafridi, and they have announced Babar Azam once again skipper for the white ball cricket. I think that uh, that was the time he should have taken that decision that no more. I have given the resign because Pakistan team didn't perform well. I'll take the responsibility and let it go now. Let the Shaheen Shah Afridi take the chance and uh, uh, let the uh, guys perform under him. But he has taken captaincy back. Pakistan lost against USA. Pakistan lost against uh, India in T20 World Cup. And then, of course, that all the pressure on the Babar Azam. And then Babar Azam, once again, you know, uh, he didn't bat well against even Bangladesh. When, where people were talking about, including me, that that's the best time to take some rest. What he has said, actually, over the X, um, what he has tweeted. He said that, I want, I want to spend some time with my family. I want to um, uh, go through that what happened in the past. Of course, I will try to work on my mistakes. And I will focus on one thing, and that is my batting. I think that's a very, very good idea. Because when you're uh, you're a good batter for a long time, Pakistan is suffering just because of your batting, because you're not performing well. Whenever you perform well, Pakistan wins. So I think it's a very good time to step down. But the timing is really, really crucial. Right before four or five months uh, before the Champions Trophy. And we are expecting that uh, the, uh, the, 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 all of the teams, they will be visiting Pakistan and Pakistan will host and defend the Champions Trophy. What could be the next option? For me, I think if Babar Azam uh, is not the skipper, who will be the skipper? I think Mohammad Rizwan is the best that, that, choice. That's a millionaire question, you know, because everyone has been speaking about that. Who's going to be the, who's going to be the next captain of it? But uh, me and Kashif, we were somewhere and there was a news that the Aga Salman might be a good choice because what we heard was that Gary Kirsten wants someone who can bat and who can even ball and who's a young guy who can lead the Pakistan long way. Although uh, when we talk about uh, Salman and Yaga, he's still not a young guy. Uh, he's been <laughs> in, in domestic record for around 10 to 12 years now. I still remember those match against... Uh, uh, he was playing for the Lahore and we played against him way back in 2013. So he was uh, part of that squad and now we are talking about 2024. So most probably he is an experienced guy and going with this flow uh, that we heard that Salman Ali Aga's name is in contention because Gary Kirsten wants someone to be there who can ball a bit, who can bat a bit and can be uh, a player who can create an impact. Most probably there are talk in the town that Rizwan doesn't want a captaincy of this squad because of so many differences within the uh, star players. So he, he don't want to get into those uh, uh, debate of uh, pl uh, playing who and dropping who because it, there is one other case, curious case of Gary Gistram wanting uh, wanted uh, or wants uh, some impact players at the top of the order. That means uh, most probably a question mark to the Babar Azam's performance or Rizwan's performance at the top of the order. There is so much uh, happening right now. And this is what Pakistan cricket is all about. Every time there is so much happening. Uh, we've seen uh, the only era where which the, when the, the less of news and more of cricket, that was most probably the Ms. Baulak Zaira. That is it. After that, most probably Safaz was one sure captain when it comes to the white ball cricket, primarily in the T20 and the one day. And after then, it's all chaos. So the team was going good under Babar Azam's captaincy. And suddenly, we got to know that Babar Azam is no more the captain and Shaheen Jabridi will lead. And then there is all sort of discussion and debates. So now we are talking about who to get, who to give the captaincy to Armband to. And uh, most probably, Rizwan is a strong contender. And again, me and A. Asif is on the same page. So that's again an excellent choice. <laughs> Thank you, Rizwan. Uh, so, uh, second important thing is if it's Aga Salman, according to some of our sources, I still believe it's a good choice. No, I, would, Kashif, uh, mm -hmm. I would like to it add is. something. See that when we, you said that the everything was going very well and uh, everyone was appreciating when we lost against Australia in UAE and uh, Babar Azam took the responsi uh, responsibility. The semi-fans are talking about it. Yes, yes, and he yes. addressed to the team. He said that 
nobody will go in the blame game. That was the point which definitely I would like to, to hear from the skipper. And he has said that I will take the responsibility. Everything was going good. And we've been watching over the social media that the roti gang is sitting somewhere on the dhaba eating roti. And, uh, and, and then, you know, circulating some news that this is the, the, the roti gang. What happened with that roti uh, gang? Uh, I'll, I'll have to I'll talk to you. There's a no. short break. Stay, stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching Sports Extra. Chaos, if you were speaking about Babar Azam, uh, I just need to understand one thing. Uh, the Pakistan team, I know you were rightly pointed out because you have got less time and Pakistan really does not still know who's going to be the captain for the white ball cricket, even does not know what squad it would be for the Champions Trophy. But how do you see Babar Azam now after the, after the captaincy gone from him? Obviously, he stepped on as a captain. How do you see him as a rate him as a batsman? Because if you go through his captaincy record, I told you it has been fabulous. Pakistan has won many T20s, many one-day cricket matches. I know many of them would say that it was against Zimbabwe, Afghanistan, but still his tra track record was good. But as a batsman, how do you see now him? Well, uh, we didn't win any big and marquee mm -hmm. win in his captaincy, one thing. And second, of course, when we talk about Babar Azam, is a class and class is permanent. Everyone loved to watch his cover drive, his on drive, the way he plays. He was struggling. He was under pressure, of course, that because uh, Pakistan was not winning and uh, everyone was criticizing about his captaincy, his batting. Uh, uh, sorry for interrupting. I just have to have a short break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching Sports Extra and Pakistan versus England Test Series. You know, it's going to be starting on and it's an important test match for Pakistan. Unfortunately, I still feel that Pakistan, still not feel it is, that Pakistan is out of the Test Championship Finals. But it's an important test series for Pakistan to get the confidence back on track. We have a small package. Let's spot the package and back to discussion. The England Test Cricket Team led by Ben Stokes has arrived in Multan for the three-match Test Series against Pakistan. The series will kick off on October 7th at the Multan Cricket Stadium. The England players will begin their practice for the long format matches on October 4th after taking a two-day rest on October 2nd and 3rd. This home series is part of the ICC World Test Championship 2023-2025. The second match will also take place at the same venue, while the third match is scheduled from October 24th to 28th at the Rawalpindi Cricket Stadium. Pakistan Test Team Captain Shan Masood expressed optimism for the future ahead of the series against England, despite their recent disappointing whitewash against Bangladesh last month. Kiyasi was excited about the Pakistan Test Series, but Kashif, uh, if we speak about the Pakistan Test Series, uh, like I told you, it's an important Test Series because Pakistan, on the other hand, they need to win a match over here because they need to be back on the track. There has been a lot of critics going on, specifically the Pakistan squad, Shaheen Shafri's performance, Shan Masood's performance. There are several <coughs> things I would say on, but how important will be this Test Series? That series or this series will suggest how we are playing as a test nation uh, team, either whether the team is gelled up, uh, whether they like to play under the captaincy of Shah Masood, the performance of Shah Masood. Uh, this series also defines the way uh, Jason Gillespie wants to go about his business as a head coach and this series also tells the mm -hmm. uh, secret ingredient of Pakistan cricket, the strength of Pakistan cricket, whether we are talking about our batting, bowling, uh, if we are talking about bowling, whether the strength is lies in the fast bowling or the spin bowling, there's so much to talk about there. 
is so much to actually think about. We are, we, for me, it's just like uh, we are starting again from the scratch and this is where Pakistan cricket is all about. And test cricket we talk about, uh, this was that era where we talk about Mesba and his captaincy, Safraz and his captaincy and we were sure that this format is in the safe hands and now this is the most vulnerable format since the start of, I, I would just like K. Asif to uh, be part of this discussion. What if that uh, te World Test Championship started in the era of Mesba Ulag, most probably will be playing the finals and most probably will be playing the finals in the, in the Lords and when we talk about the Lords and our performances and our history in the Lords, most probably we can, we, we, when we can think that we, we should have won that, uh, those World Test Championship finals playing in the Lords. So this is, I think this is the most difficult time for the Pakistan mm -hmm. Test Cricket and let's hope we can find a good leader, we can uh, find a leader who can perform under pressure, we can find a good bowling unit that can uh, wrap up 20 wickets of the opposition and uh, let's find out that we can find all those batters who can score centuries. Yes, if that's the thing, I mean, because when you speak about Babar Azam, like we're speaking about the captain too, but there's the biggest issue what Kashif even mentioned on, it's your bowling. You haven't seen many of your fast bowlers from so much longer of time that if a fast bowler, specifically of, uh, your fast bowler taking five wickets, your spinner winning a match for you, Bowling has been a real concern for Pakistan. Noman is back, I know. He'll obviously play a crucial role. But at this point where it was a pressure situation, I mean, the England uh, Test Series over here, Pakistan going through a bad patch, how Noman, Ibrar, how effective they would be? Well, I think, uh, first of all, uh, if you see that the bowling is a problem, I think they're 26 for 6, then the, the problem is your skipper that uh, was not using <coughs> bowlers properly, not coming up with an aggressive approach. And this is what he had said during the presser as well, that uh, why I have pushed Fielder back on the, on, the, uh, from, uh, on, the, on the boundaries, because I was saving runs and that was our planning. I think that when uh, everyone says that he uh, talks so nicely, he's so good uh, in front of camera, he's so good in front of the media, but sometimes when you come up with these uh, kind of answers, to be honest, it's, for me, this is, this is just for fun. Because uh, uh, I would like to ask this question to Shan Masood that why you were not using your main fast bowlers when it was uh, cloudy and everyone is, was expecting that you will give ball to, uh, to a fast bowler. But what happened? He has given that ball to Abrar under the cloudy uh, weather, windy situation. So that was the poor decision from the captain. So uh, right now we have lots of problems in batting, in bowling, with the captaincy, Nothing is going, uh, coming up with, uh, uh, you know, good decisions or good results. Uh, as Kashif uh, was talking about the, the, what if this World Test Championship had started in the era of Ms. Baul Haq, yes, I strongly agree. The way he was leading the side, that was phenomenal. The way, the way he was, you know, uh, playing his role as a skipper and his batting was up to the mark, each and everything, and the team was united under his captaincy. So right now, Pakistan team is in a lot of trouble. I think that you require a very, very good captain who is very good with his performances and with the good decisions as well. So far, Shan Masood is not impressive. Oh, that, that is, I mean, because like I told you, everyone has been speaking and everyone is uh, waiting for the Pakistan test series, how Pakistan team performs against England. Moving on to Gorak uh, Hill rally. The, the, it was a uh, Gorak bike rally where different participants participated in the event and if you speak about the event i mean it was at at gork there's an area in sindh which is basically called as murray of sindh uh, how important it was because if you talk about that area specifically it's for the development and it was good sign to see even female participants were there in that sports rally if you talk about that more the female bikers participated in the gork hill station off-road bikers rally at the first prize uh, miss farzana ali won the first prize in the women's category let's see women category we are talking to farzana ali who won the, uh, uh, this uh, uh, rally. How Farzana is feeling about his experience as a biker because the road was uh, so much uh, mountainous and hilly areas. So let us we talk and we'll talk with her that how uh, he, she feel about this, this rally and how much she's excited because she has won in the women category. Uh, Farzana, Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, can you tell me that how you feel uh, your experience uh, as a biker? जी मुझ मैं यहाँ पे यूँ मेरा first experience था और मुझे बहुत मजा है यहाँ पे और मैं बाकी भी females को दावत दूँगी वो भी शिरकत करें यहाँ पे आएं वो bike rally में हिस्सा लें यहाँ पे आकर वो bike race में जो है enjoy करें और दौड़ाएं जो roadों पे दौड़ा रहे हैं वो यहाँ पे आकर बगाएं 
और बहुत खुशी हुई है कि हमने ये ट्रैक कंप्लीट किया है और ऐसे कोई भी इवेंट आएंगे हम उसमें पार्टिसिपेट करना चाहेंगे और हम अपनी गवर्नमेंट और सिंध टूरिज्म का शुक्रिया अदा करेंगे कि और हम चाहेंगे कि जब भी कोई ऐसे इवेंट आए तो हमें इन्वाइट किया जाए It's a good sign to watch, and like I told you, when we speak about the men's category, but even you had some female uh, riders participating in the rally, and like it, like I told you, it's very important to specifically highlight that kind of areas. Right now, if you just watch out, the Minister for Tourism and Culture, Sayed Zulfikar Risha, spoke to the uh, spoke to the media regarding uh, regarding the rally. We are trying our level best to promote our Gorakh Hill in a excellent manner, and uh, we can call all the tourists from abroad. and from the all over the world to visit gorakh hill uh, it is a, i think a pride for a pakistan it is a hill who is above than uh, like uh, uh, mari and uh, nathia gali and uh, all the places that was from gorakh rally like i told it's an important and and congratulations to the sind specifically sind uh, ministry like they have organized a beautiful rally over there and i hope so in the future you see more over there but we move on to the mma fighting tournament in pakistan where trials are underway in across pakistan the scouting talent for premier mma tournament was held in quetta and balochistan uh, balochistan is known for having uh, brilliant fighters across the, across the globe and the punjab trials to be begin today it's an important thing again in the mma like i told you that pakistan really need to focus on it because you have got many young fighters just not male even the females have been doing a s- integral part a- in the global stage they have been performing really well with no much support so i personally feel so the sponsor specific the csr the businesses they really need to sponsor uh, athletes in mma that's all for today from sports extra see you tomorrow bye bye The National and FT4 MMA Championship trials concluded successfully from September 27 to 29, 2024. And talent in mixed martial arts. Bawar Kajum Raja, president of the Pakistan MMA Federation, praised the organizational efforts of the Balochistan MMA Association and its leadership for making the trials a success. The event was graced by the presence of key officials from the Balochistan Olympic Association and the Sports Board, underlining the significance of MMA in the region. The selected athletes from these trials will now have the opportunity to represent. Balochistan at the National NFT 4 MMA Championship scheduled to take place in Lahore from November 21st to 25th 2024 this event marks a crucial step in promoting MMA talent at the national level